high there. So, hope I burn in so far. It's unusual for my videos, I know that, but there's a reason for that. I'm here at Ronnie's place. I want to talk about a, uh, a tobacco, a tobacco that I really like, but I don't know, um, there's something special to it, let's say that. So this tobacco, that would be uh, Samuel Gareth uh, Pressed Brown Flake. I show you the tin, uh, but you probably already know that tobacco. Uh, so it's one of those tobaccos, very famous, um, and not without any reason. So, but I'm going to talk about the tobacco while doing a little experiment. So, uh, I'm going to tell you what we do. Uh, so I know there are a lot of complaints about this tobacco when it comes to the humidity. So, all the guys uh, tell me, so well, this stuff, this is so humid, you you just can't smoke it. So, okay, I thought. Just let's do a little experiment because I already smoked several tins of this tobacco, and I have to confess, uh, yeah, I got my fair share of problems uh, with this tobacco too. So let's see. I just open open that up. Um, so so it's a fresh tin, and uh, so Ronnie normally doesn't have it in the shop, and he has his reasons for that. So, um, at least for a while, he got several problems uh, with the Samuel Gavin tobaccos when it comes to uh, being moldy or whatever. So, um, already when you open the tin, there's some could be some some mold. Uh, yeah, maybe it's because of uh, of that what many people say it's just too too moist, the humidity, uh, just too rich in humidity. And perhaps let me show you something. When you open that and you touch it, it's incredible humid. So um, I'm going to show you the tobacco. Perhaps you can see something. So let's see. The tobacco really looks beautiful. Um, it's really, it smells delicious. It's pure, pure tobacco, straight Virginia. It is pure tobacco. There's nothing added, uh, you know, except humidity. But let, let me just show you something. I don't know if you can see that. If you press the tobacco, so it likes to, to keep this form you pressed. So um, it doesn't like to relax to go back in the former, uh, yeah, in the former way. So and that's always a sign for a lot of humidity. So anyway, it looks looks uh, pretty great. So what I'm gonna do is uh, I pack a pipe of that by the normal method I normally use. So what is that? Now that is normally, I just take the tobacco, I just rub it a little bit, just like that, not too much. So I'm just making them kind of bowl from it. And then drilling it into the pipe. I'm gonna be careful with that in this case because it's very humid and I press too much. I can't get anything lit now. So, okay. That's it. Should do the trick. Well, that's the way I normally do it with other tobacco. It normally works. So, let's see if it works. I'm gonna show you the bowl. Just that. And now, look. Okay. Let's get this started. I have three really reliable pipes with me. Um, for this little experiment. So, and when I light it up, um, I remind you of the words that uh, smoking brine might uh, has was, don't do it crispy. Okay, first match. I'm gonna show you the result. So, can you see that? So that's ne ne nearly nearly nothing happened really. Mm. I'm gonna take the second match. Let's see how that works.
just pushing it gently. You want to you want to lose uh, the draft. Okay, it's burning. Show you the result. Well, you see the surface isn't hit really properly. So I don't know if you can see that. So yeah. this part wouldn't stay lit. You see? So okay. We're gonna take the third match. So of course I could have mm, kept that burning aggressively. Mm. Or by concentrating very much. So, third map. So, okay. Let's try this out. Mm. Let's burn it. Well, this tobacco provides really, I don't know, very smooth notes. Mm. It's a little bit grassy, but in a good way. Some hay notes in the back. So we all know hay notes. That's, so Virginia really likes to give hay notes, but it's, it's nothing what we would really point out or say well, we were going to go for that for the hay notes. Some guys do, but that's um, yeah, not very common. So, I, but you see. It's getting difficult. So I can get it burning, but as soon as I stop, yeah, the pipe likes to likes to quit. And I show you the reason. Where you see the surface still isn't really properly uh, done, so it's it's not ready to smoke up to the end. They are, even I can see some tobacco parts, uh, oh no, still brown. Okay, let's go. Let's take another match. So, excuse me, Mike, but I think I have to go a little bit crispy on it, so just with a bit more heat. Mm. You have to be very careful with the timber. Otherwise it's done. But you see, although I'm going very, very hot on it, and I already used four matches, you see the draft is pretty good, so the pipe is, is packed quite well I think. You see there's not not much smoke coming. I'll show you the reason. So you see there's still parts brown. I don't know if you can see that. So it's still not properly done and right in the middle now there's some kind of fire hole or something we don't really appreciate. So I have to go with a little more pressure, a bit more pressure on. Mm. Let's see. You see? It's still, it's still oh, already committing again. So, number five. This tobacco in a slow smoking contest. This contest will be over very quickly because in a contest you're not you just you're just supposed to have two matches and just in the first ten seconds or whatever. Mm. Anyway, the taste is pretty good. And, and maybe part of the humidity, so part of the problem of the humidity, and on the other hand it's quite mild. It's not tongue bite at all or something like that. So it's, it's really, it's nice, it's even delicious. It's not over complex, so it's a straight Virginia, but 
But there's something I really don't like. I'll show you that. Mm. You'll see. Again. So you have to concentrate the whole time. And not only that, there's something I really don't like. And this is, you see, um, it's burning just in the middle. So on the outer part, so on the walls of the bowl, you still see some brown parts. So this is, this is not really something we really appreciate uh, when we smoke a pipe. So having some kind of fire hole in the middle of the bowl, so yeah, we could continue uh, with that with matches and matches uh, the whole smoke. You see, it's it's nearly gone already. I can get it back. So yeah. You see, it's, we are already done half of the bowl and just with lighting up. I don't think that's something we really appreciate. Okay, let's do an experiment. So I have two, two portions, two more pipes here already packed with, uh, with the same tobacco uh, with Best Brown uh, by Samuel Gilbert, Best Brown Flake. So this tobacco here, I have here. Uh, yeah, this is dried out for five hours exactly. So dry that out for five hours. I've packed it the same way. Pipe has about the same, uh, the same wide, so it's medium sized, medium to, uh, you know, to large, medium to large perhaps, uh, size. So let's see. I dried that out five hours. So first match. Do it the same way. Not too aggressive. Okay, that was done very quickly. <laughs> okay, well this match, uh, that was done very quickly, but anyway, I'll show you the result. So, uh, nothing really happened. <laughs> Okay, let's go for another match. Mm. Second match. Okay. I'll show you the result. Oh, this is it. Perhaps a bit better. So let's see. We can keep a lit. I'm still burn. Okay. A little bit of the same problem here, so not the whole surface got lit. Just one or two small parts of the surface got lit. Mm. And the result of that will always be a problem. Mm. You see? So, you see, just two small areas of the pipe are lit. The rest isn't. Uh, or there's still some brown parts. Not lit at all. And just went away. So okay let's take another match. Give it a moment. Yeah. 
you can't you can't really complain about uh, the notes that the Barker was providing. Some of these are really fine earthy notes, um, perhaps even a bit leather. Some guys even say bread. So, okay, you can keep it lit, but you see, you have to, you have to focus on. It. So I'm pretty sure, the moment I will, will talk for one or two minutes, it's done. Uh, perhaps if you know the channel and if you know my videos, sometimes um, I'm talking uh, five minutes without uh, without taking a pipe, uh, and it's still lit. So there's something. I don't really like, you see that, less than a minute and it's nearly gone. So you see, the result is, it's not burning on the whole surface, so again we have two fire holes here. I think, so it is still smooth, but it's not as smooth as the very moisty version is. And brings me, brings me to a point. So there are several reasons why producers do the tobacco moisty, why they like to add a lot of humidity. So one reason is um, water is cheaper than tobacco. So if you want to pack 50 gram. Uh, and you add a lot of humidity, a lot of water to it, well, you're gonna save yourself a lot of tobacco when you sell a thousand tins of it. So, but, yeah, this, to say that, I don't know, we don't wanna be that mean, I think, so I don't wanna be, so let's say uh, Samuel Gavitt, perhaps, perhaps they, they don't do it for that reason. Or for tax reasons or whatever so uh, let's believe in the best of all in the best in all of us so and let's say uh, they just do it for the recycle because they are really pretty convinced by the recycle uh, with a lot of humidity mm. you'll see it's gone so let's say that um, then there's another reason why they could add a lot of humidity the reason is to keep the tobacco smooth so to avoid sharpness, if you have a tobacco that tends to be a little bit sharp, and Virginia sometimes like to be a, uh, likes to be a little bit sharp, you can add humidity onto it, um, where you get more smoothness. So it's just the tobacco is more kind to the tongue and, and everything. So let's say that. Um, so I'm not pretty sure. So I'm gonna continue the test. So I have. A third pipe here and well this this tobacco is dried out for 24 hours I show you what it looks like so we have perhaps another close look on the tobacco uh, you see the humidity is pretty much gone so it's breaking so it's not bone dry it's not bone dry uh, but it's pretty dry after 24 hours just on the desk, 24 hours just open on the desk, not the whole tin, just this, uh, just two slices of that. So let's see if we got that burn. I packed it the same way, got a reliable pipe with me, so I just go and light that up. So let's see what happens now. First match. Mm. Oh no, don't dry this with any other tobacco after 24 hours dry off. There might be danger of exploding just uh, in the bowl. Mm. Okay. Mm. Yeah, I already get some sharp notes just after after first match. You see? It's still not really probably, um, properly burning, so we should expect that after 24 hours of dry out. 
Uh, it's gone. So I'll show you the result. Um, so you see there is a difference to, let's say, the very fresh tobacco. Well, it's still not properly, so, okay, let's say two matches for, for pipe, for first light, for first line of the pipe, two matches is the standard. So let's give another match. Um, we just want to be fair to that. You see, mm, do you see this effect when the pipe is burning? So this is something that Mike said, and he's right with that. You should avoid that because that's, that's not what we should do. But I do it just to show you the tobacco is dry and it, the surface is willing to, to burn even by itself. So that's, that's what the flames coming out indicate. Mm. But the tobacco lost a lot of smoothness already for me. Uh, it's ten to get a little bit sharp, I think. The hay notes are coming a little bit in front. So before that you have the hay notes very slightly in the back. But now they, they like to get in front a little bit. Perhaps it's even getting a bit peppery. I don't know. But it's not the pepper you normally get by Perique or something like that. So, mm, I don't know. It's more, more some harshness. I'll show you the results. So, uh, we've we used two matches so far. You see that? And you see the result is not really that what we you know, what we really would wish for for two matches and the dried out tobacco for 24 hours. Uh, okay, I'm gonna give it another shot. So let's say a third match. I could do no harm. Let's see. Try to light that part not ready lit. It's burning, it's a little bit harsh, it already gives a little bit of tongue bite. Um, I was wondering about that because I was going well off heat now, so I um, just lo lost my patience with that. And you see, anyway, nearly it doesn't matter how many heat I give. The tobacco likes to likes to quit. Mm -hmm. So, but perhaps just for me. I pack all my pipes, uh, my flake pipes, in the same method by rubbing out, being gently on that. I never got any problems with that. So, and don't get me wrong, we all know that Samuel Gadlett, these tobaccos like to be a little bit more, so I like to have some more humidity, let's say that. Um, but it doesn't mean a bad tobacco, so I really like the autumn flake. I don't think there are many problems to that. I really like the spring flake and many other uh, of, of these tobaccos. Uh, I also like the, the best brown. Uh, and sometimes I sit down, uh, I rub it a little bit more, just pack it even more concentrated, uh, and just smoke it very carefully. I'm very concentrated on that. Always having a temper at hand. Um, and then it really provides some, some nice notes. But let's say if I want to go in the car or I do, want, to do, want to have an everyday smoke, it seems complicated to me. You see, it's already quitting again. Uh, i show you the result. And the result is again that we have some kind of fire hole in the middle here. Well, th this is nothing we really appreciate, I think. Yep. So, 
Yeah, you see, these are the problems some guys told me uh, in private messages or I saw that on different videos and you can see that on different reviews but I just want, want to, to try myself with a little experiment. So, one guy, uh, he wrote, he really likes the tobacco, but uh, he, he dries that uh, for 48 hours. Yeah, guys, but drying a tobacco for 48 hours, I'm not sure that, that is really something that we want to do because humidity, for me, humidity is part of the recycle. It's part of the recycle. And you have very different humidities in tobaccos uh, because the blender just wants it that way. So let's say HU tobaccos, they like to be pretty moisty. So when it comes to, to the burly tobaccos, let's say, the Makuva for example, it's pretty moisty. It's at least as moisty as this tobacco, but it burns pretty well from moment one. So it's a ready rub too. So um, and that's no problem to it. And let's say on the other hand, the three nuns tobacco likes to be very dry. Well, it doesn't mean it gives you any sharpness, not at all. So humidity, what I would just want, want to say is, humidity is part of the recycle. So I don't want to, I don't want to change humidity. So I want to rely on the humidity um, that the producer think is the best humidity for his product. Well, that, at least for me, so we all know we can we can do a lot of, uh, on the tobacco. So we can add some other key, or we can add some perique. We can do something with it, with it, and it's great. I, I, I like to do that, but that's not um, yeah what we should talk about when we talk about the product itself. At least that's what I think. So I don't know what they do to prevent the tobacco from burning, but they do pretty well, Matt. Uh, I think so. <laughs> No offense guys, I know there are a lot of fans of the, of the best brown flag out there and don't get me wrong, I like it too, but I don't know, perhaps the problem is just on my side, uh, let's say that. Uh, so no offense, mm, you see, it's gone, yeah, if I should recommend something, I don't know, perhaps you better go with the Samuel Gavitt Autumn Flag, Scottish Autumn Flag. Mm. At least that's what I'm gonna do. And now I have a lot of uh, this tobacco still left, so I'm gonna dry that out a little bit. But just I don't know. I just I I think I take the five hours version because the five hours version is still pretty smooth and 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 you you yeah. I don't know. Let's say the top of the problems you cut that off a little bit by drying a little bit. Uh, but don't do too much. So if you do too much, you won't get rid of the problem um, completely. And on the other hand, uh, you take in other problems, uh, so harshness and so on. Okay, you see it's already done again. So, guys, that's it for today. Uh, I don't know if, uh, I don't know. If you take something from that, or uh, if that's even interesting, or whatever. So, um, anyway, I hope you all are well. I hope you hope you have something good to chew on, some good tobacco around. And you have some nice days. Uh, I already heard that some guys they're suffering uh, too much heat. So, yeah, that's summer. I think it's different uh, everywhere on the world. But let's see if we get some some nice days. So guys, uh, take care, uh, be well, and perhaps see you again. So, well, I think I'm gonna need some more matches.